Your child has been comparing fractions ever since she shared her first treat. Even back in preschool, she knew getting half a cookie was better than getting an eighth. But now she's in fourth grade, so comparing fractions gets a little more complicated. Fourth graders will learn to compare and order fractions. Let's put the following fractions in order from smallest to largest. They'll use various strategies for making these comparisons. They may draw a number line and place the fractions along the line. So one fourth would be here because I know that one fourth is half of half. So one fourth. And then three eighths would be here because four, four eighths is exactly half. Seven tenths mm -hmm. would be around here because five tenths would be half. And 11 twelfths would be here because you just need one more twelve to get to one and six twelfths would be half. So 11 twelfths. They'll use various strategies for making these comparisons, such as using a benchmark fraction, like one half, or by changing to a common denominator. And how do you know three eighths is bigger than one fourth? Because um, two eighths equals to one fourth, and this is three eighths, oh. so just one eighth bigger. So how do you know your child's on track? By the end of the year, fourth graders can compare and order fractions using various strategies.